My name is Chris from Reading Town, and thank you for joining us today for Kids Times. Now, today's topic is what we call shadows. They are our best friend on a sunny day, right? Shadows, or kirinchas, are where light cannot reach. The light cannot go to here, so a shadow is here, or a kirincha is made here, right? When you walk on a sunny day, your shadow, Kirincha, follows you along. It follows you. As light meets an opaque object, it cannot go around the object. So, opaque means something tumyonghaji anun, right? So, a glass is not opaque, it's tumyon, right? But things like our body are opaque because our body tumyonghaji anchyo, right? So, it cannot go around the object, the light cannot do this, it goes here, it stops, and a shadow is made, right? So, it casts or it shoots a shadow behind you. Shadows are created or made because light beams, are not stri are straight, sorry, and not curved. So, prupi, it is straight. It doesn't turn. It is not curved like this. All right. It does not do that. It is straight. Prupisen, you know, it goes straight. Have you seen sunlight beam through the clouds? From the clouds, did you see the light, the prupi coming from the clouds? Right? Was it like this or was it straight? Or a lighthouse flashing in the distance? So a lighthouse is where. At the beach near the ocean, there's a long tower with a light that goes like this, and it helps sailors, right? When you see that light, is it straight or is it curved? Well, the light shines, Brutbizen, it shines in a straight line. So think of a flashlight, right? When you go camping, you click on the flashlight, and when we see the light, it goes straight, right? It does not do this, no. Alright, we have three exercises here. A. As light meets a blank object, it cannot go around the object. So, object, we're saying like a ruga. It's something, right? Uh, we, it can be a car, person, a building, something, right? So, when light meets this object, so what kind of object? Is it a tumyongan object? Is it a clear window or glass? Or is it a blank object? It's an opaque object. So opaque means tumyonghaji annen. So when light meets a tumyonghaji annen something, it cannot go around like this. It cannot do this, right? This is opaque. Because it's not too B. Shadows are created because light beams are blank, not curved. So, Prupi, how do they make shadows? Well, how do these light beams or Prupi move? Do they move in a curvy, wavy way? No, this is not curved, right? It goes in a straight line. Uh, so they are straight, right? They do not turn, they do not curve. C. The blank shines in a straight line. So again, what goes in a straight line? We talked about it. It is light. Brutbizen, it goes in a straight line, right? All right. We have three more exercises here. A. It blanks a shadow. This word cast, it's, we're saying it's like shooting something, right? We're shooting a shadow. Uh, or something like that. So, it here, we're talking about light. Uh, it is light, so we can say light blank a shadow. So, in this case, it, when we have the subject it, we have to put an S at the verb. So, it cast. Cast is a tongsa, it's a verb, right? It's an action. So when we have it, we have to put the S. 
구체적으로 right? It eats, it walks, it sleeps And keep going, it talks, right? We have to keep going B, have you blank sunlight beamed through the clouds? So we have three forms of seeing, right? 본다, 봤었다, 본적, right? We have to use seeing because here's the hint. We have this word have, right? So have and this form of the verb go together. So we can say have you eaten? Have you seen? Right? We don't say have you eat? No. Have you ate? No. Have you eaten? Yes. Have you seen? Yes. Right? So when we have this word have or has, we have to put it with uh, something called a past participle form, right? This is the present form, 현재, this is the 과거, and this is what we call the past participle form, right? C, when you blank on a sunny day, your shadow follows you. So, right away, we can X this. Why? Because the subject, right, the 주인공 is you. So for you, we don't put a S, right? For it, we put an S. It walks, it talks, but for you, we don't put an S. You walk, you talk, right? So we have a choice, walk or walked, right? So which one is it? We have to find the hint. Over here, it says follows, right? This is 현재. So we have to match that, not with the 과거. If, this is, if we pick this, it will be 과거 현재, right? It's not matching. We have to put 현재, 현재 동사s. It has to match together. So the answer here is walk. When you walk on a sunny day, your shadow follows you. So to review, when we have it or he or she, 동사 뒤에 s를 꼭 붙여야 돼. We have to put a s. Okay, that's very important. Okay. On the other side, when we say you or I, 너 나 동사 뒤에 s를 안 붙여요, right? So you walk, I talk, right? Finish. And this one, you're gonna have more practice with this later. But this is a present tense or 현재, past tense, 과거, and this is something called a past participle, which you will get more practice with later. But don't worry too much about it right now. All right. So when you are Walking around today or tomorrow on a sunny day, try to see where can you see a shadow and where can you not see a shadow. All right. Thank you for joining us for Kids Times. My name is Chris from Meeting Town. I'll see you next time.